So for today, we're going to be looking at my guardians. Specifically, we're going to be doing the scavenger set. I was going to make it fallen themed as well, but it's just it. It didn't go well with a few of them. Not only that, uh, I came out with just a pure scavenger look for each and every one of them. So I, this is just going to be the scavenger look, which is really cool in my opinion. I definitely like the hunters, but I think the Titans probably the best one, if I'm being honest. Uh, Hunters, Titans, Warlocks, like as always, let me know what you guys think is the best one. Um, I personally think the Titan is the best one, but the Hunter looks really cool, and I think the Warlock also looks pretty cool. But you guys will see that that one was the, like, the roughest one for me. So if you guys like the video, like and comment, subscribing really does help the channel grow. I also noticed that people that watch my videos are not subscribed, so if you can do me a favor and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. It's free and it doesn't really hurt you in any way, shape, or form. So with that out of the way, let's get right into it. So this is my hunter. This is my scavenger look for my hunter. And I have to say, this is super cool. The only weak part is maybe the hood, if I'm being quite honest, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Let's look at the helmet. So for actually, before we get into the armor, just be aware that I don't have any of these unlocked because I'm out of all of the synth, synth weaves. Uh, blame Bungie for that for time gating it or not time gating but like basically limiting us for some stupid reason so I do apologize that I don't have all the armor but again I only have so many uh, synth weaves that I can uh, waste on armor that unfortunately I'm pretty much out because if I'm being real with you guys this is definitely an armor set I would wear uh, with like maybe different like an exotic for the arms like the ones I was thinking about was uh the shards of Galanor. That one's really cool. The basic look of it because it has like a very like distressed metal look. So that one was a really good one that I was thinking about using. But I decided to go without an exotic because it just looks better overall for me. So let's get right into the helmet. The helmet is the Outlander's cover. This is a blue helmet. So you guys can get this if you really want to. Uh, it's right here. Really good. I, I recommend this one and this one. This is definitely my favorite helmet for hunters because it looks cool. But this is definitely super cool. It also has a hose here, which if you guys are following me on my Instagram, you guys will know that or actually, I don't know if I'll post this right after this video. No, I won't. Well, you guys will see later that i call this one the tangled hunter or the tangled scavenger because of all the the hoses that this one has which is why i use that one uh the arms are from the hunt or the wild hunt which is from season of the hunt it's pretty cool the reason i'm wearing it is because it gives this really cool contrast of like green all of this and then just nothing here of green which i thought was really cool which is why i'm wearing it uh I say nothing. There is green here, but it's so little bit when you see from here. It's really cool. The, like, I usually hate asymmetric looks, but the chest piece is super asymmetrical already, so it really works with this. Uh, yeah, that's really why I wore the, the arms. Speaking of the chest, the chest is the Scatterhorn vest. I definitely wanted to use this vest with this cloak because I love the contrast of this hose here and then the hose down here. It's also just a chest piece that I knew I was going to wear because I really like this chest piece. The other one that I was going to wear uh, was actually not these boots. These boots are was my like last minute thing that I thought of. These are the boots I actually wanted to wear. But I decided against it because obviously I didn't want to wear two of the same pieces. Uh, that's just me personally. I don't judge anyone who would do this. This looks cool still. But it's just more of a rule I give my to myself. Unless something looks so dope that it's like I have to wear the, both pieces. That's the exception. Uh, but I think this looks really good as well. The boots are the Tangled Web Strides. These are from the Tangled Shore, if I remember correctly. Or this actually might be a world drop now. Uh, so these are really dope. Uh, again, it gives that it gives a lot of that uh, asymmetrical look, especially since, you know, a scavenger wouldn't be symmetrical, in my opinion. Like, uh, they would be basically just like, oh, whatever I can get, I'll put on, which this is what it feels like. Last but not least, we are using the Cinder pinion uh cloak which is the specifically this one is the uh crucible cloak and the reason i'm wearing this is because of the cloak it's so or the cloak it's because of the hose i think the hose adds to it it's overall i think this is like almost like an eight out of ten in my opinion i love how it looks the scavenger look was super dope and it just it really does give you that vibe that i'm a scavenger like just trying to get pieces of armor uh 
I will tell you guys, you guys might notice that I'm going to be using the Descendant Vex Chrome for everyone. I decided to do that because A, I didn't want to go through all of the shaders to see like which other armor has like a rustic look because there's other armor obviously like or other shaders I should say where there's the Tangled Rust uh, which just gives you the Tangled Shore shader which is cool but it doesn't give you any rust or anything like that which is why I'm really looking for rust and like decayed look. Uh, the one I'm thinking about specifically should be, where is it? There's another one that, that gives you that. It's from Forsaken as well. I think it's, yeah, Tangled Bronze. So this is another good one. It's just that for me, I don't like the yellow, but this could also be something you can make work considering like this is almost like crusty metal. So. I knew of two, but I didn't know of like a third one. And I was just like, I, this is more to showcase the armor itself and the shader is like not that big a deal right now. I think this is the best shader is what I'm trying to say. So let's go on to the Titans. So this is my Titan. I think the Titan came out really good. And the one reason why I wanted to call it the fallen slash scavenger look is because this is very fallen. Uh, chest piece is very fallen. Helmet's very fallen. The boots can be called fallen as well because this is the splicer. But let's get right into it. Helmet is the lightkin helm. I usually like tend to stay away from this helmet specifically because it does this. You guys know how I feel about this. But with the Ve Descend of Vex Chrome, it does the whole thing. This looks super dope. This looks super dope in my opinion. So I definitely will try to get this helmet because this I actually love this look. This look looks super dope in my head. Um, I think the only thing that bugs me is maybe the shader could be different, but obviously we're going for a scavenger look and most of the thing that scavengers would get would be like kind of rustic. If not, like maybe my guardian has been like scavenging for, for centuries and whatnot. You might never know either way. I think it looks really cool. This looks super dope as well. Uh, the only thing again is you're going to be fighting this right here, but yeah, definitely, definitely think the shader looks super dope with it, but Helmet looks super dope. Arms, scatter, Scatterhorn uh, gauntlets. I did not think I would like the, these uh, arms as much as I do because if I'm being honest with you guys, I love this this helmet more. Like the helmet for Scatterhorn, in my opinion, is just so fire. I love this helmet a lot more. And I did try to do this. Uh, oh, I have it unlocked already actually, this one. I tried to do this, but I was like, there's no fur in like literally everything. I love the arms. The arms are very like fallen for me and fallen like just immediately for me are, are scavengers. They are scavengers. So that's why I thought about it. But I was like, I don't know why I don't like it. I guess it's because like everything kind of looks bulkier. So for me, I just had to go with with the Scatterhorn uh, arms. And I think it came out pretty good. There are some boots that I, I was thinking about. But Titans would have uh, lost their shit if I used it. So I'll show you in a bit. For the chest piece, we are using the Armamentarium with the Shock Grenadier, uh, Grenadier uh, ornament. It looks super dope. Obviously, it's it's Fallen themed. And it's not even like, like super Fallen themed. It's more like Tangled Shore Fallen themed, which is why it works really well with this. Uh, Again, I'm in. I'm I'm like in love with this whole armor set. It looks super cool. Not only am I wearing like different armor pieces for each of them, but if I really wanted to, I could do different shaders. But I'm like not that big of a uh, of a like Grinch when it comes to that type of shit. I don't really give a shit if you use different shaders or not. For the boots, we are using the interlaced greaves. Uh, these were really cool. It was either the interlaced greaves or the the lightkin ones. But I decided to use the interlaced because it looks a little bit bulkier and the for, for whatever reason the light can greaves just kind of bug me. It's probably like the hoses here thing or whatever the pipes. But yeah, I think this is a really good uh, combination with it with the uh, tangled web mark. This is super dope. I really love it. Uh, again, more hoses is never a bad thing for the scavenger look in my opinion. And overall, it just it looks like it's one whole armor set, in my opinion, and that's why I love it so much. But if you wanted to go with other shaders, I wouldn't even be mad at you because this looks like a whole armor set. So you could definitely like rock it out and just go ham with it. It looks super dope. 
again the best thing would probably like if you're trying to like actually use this armor set i would probably tell you to switch out the arms for uh, the interlaced ones just because hold on where are they where are they oh they're right here just because it'll give the asymmetrical look with the helmet a little bit more uh, credence or whatever uh and then this one i would probably switch out to <clears throat> probably probably these and like even the even this looks super dope in my opinion like this looks super cool as well like all you really have to do is just make sure you're using the lightkin helm or lightkin armor interlaced armor and the scatterhorn armor and the tangled web armor those four are really going to be your your ticket to like make something really dope so yeah that's pretty much it for the titans let me know titans what you guys think i definitely th think you guys have the most drip because a lot of your pieces you can just work well together so last but not least we're going to do warlocks and then i'll give you my final thoughts and last but not least we have my warlock which i'm not gonna lie to you guys i definitely like this armor set she looks like a scavenger but i will say this one was rough this one was probably the one that was the most rough for me just because a lot of it, a lot of her armor did not look like scavenger stuff so first let's go with the, the helmet the helmet honestly can go either way i decided to use the tangled web because i wasn't using any other tangled web and i also like how the asymmetrical look of this it looks like they're just putting stuff on just just to put stuff on it's very very asymmetrical but it works with this because that kind of work it kind of works in its favor for the scavenger look uh other pieces that i was thinking about using was like this one definitely the scatterhorn helm i definitely like that helmet a lot as well but i think i think this one just adds a little bit more validity to the scavenger look the arms are actually from the vault of glass raid specifically it's super small too but specifically the reason i use it is because this little point right here it reminds me a lot of this these pointy things here so that's why i used it not only that i need a little bit more armor as well to showcase the rust so that's why i chose these and i don't think they're bad at all i definitely think uh the asymmetrical look again i usually hate asymmetrical looks but with this whole set it makes a lot of sense scavenger stuff uh, for the chest piece, I am using the Scatterhorn chest. This one was the roughest part for me, if I'm being quite honest, because there is a lot. I was thinking like, oh, I could use the interlaced robes, but I've used this so much and it doesn't give me scavenger looks. So that's why I was like, I'm not going to use that one. Makes kind of no sense for me to use that one. I was thinking about like this one, but again, does not give me scavenger vibes. Uh, there's one, the, where is it? Uh... To apologize if i cannot find it i was thinking about this one actually that's not the one i was looking for but that one came up to my head a few times and i still think it looks cool just because again asymmetrical makes sense but there's a few pieces that kind of bugged me like the gold here bugged the shit out of me and uh actually that was pretty much it the gold here bugged me but the whole set kind of looked too small for me as well the one I'm looking oh here it is this is the one I was thinking about because this is the fallen chest piece but it just it didn't look that good in my opinion for a fallen or for a for a scavenger look so I was like I'm not gonna use that one the scatterhorn is probably the best one just because uh she has pockets here she has like a grenade here and then like all of the it basically she has a bunch of shit on her and that really gave me the feel of like, like it looks like this person is just looking for shit. Also, she has big ass pockets here. So that's the reason why I use these uh this chest piece, even though I'm not the biggest fan of this chest piece, if I'm being real. Uh honestly, it's just the flap here. If it if it connected down like here with the with the back flap, I think it would be really cool. For the boots, we are using the interlaced boots. Uh this one was just kind of like a, I, I don't know what the fuck else to wear and not only that it's showcasing a lot of armor which means a lot more rust which is another reason why i used it but if i'm being honest this one was pretty rough as well i was thinking about like this one i was thinking about this one and overall i was just like kind of lost i was thinking about this one as well but i didn't like it so let me know warlocks what you guys think uh i will say i was thinking about the like these type of things the ones where like there's a lot of like this one this one almost got chosen as well just because like the ropes it looks yeah i don't know it's really hard to explain the aesthetic that i was going for 
And last but not least, I went with the Home Ward, which is a green bond, and I love it, especially if you don't want to give your Warlock a big ass flashy bond, because it almost looked like it's a part of the actual armor itself, which is why I kind of like got it because it's so cool because this I actually own this. Uh -huh. I own it because it looks super cool. The other one was this one, the Lightkin Bond, but I wasn't a big fan of the Lightkin Bond, which you also are wondering. I'm not using Lightkin at anything at all. The reason for that is just I didn't really like any of the Lightkin stuff. Um, I do. I definitely like the Lightkin gloves, but not on this because there's not a lot of fur or and any fur for that matter on this armor so that's why i decided against it the chest piece for that is actually i don't even remember seeing it i own it. oh no, no no i'm stupid yeah it's my favorite fucking chest piece that's a new that's, that, that's the reason why i didn't use the light kin armor or the robes because it's my favorite and i've overused it a bit and the boots would probably be the only thing i would wear yeah, the boots would probably be the only thing I would wear for the Lightkin. But let me know, Warlocks, what you guys think. Uh, I just like the fact that this one has a lot more armor than the other one. It has this whole side of, of armor, which is why I like that one a lot. And then for the mark... What's the mark for the, for the Lightkin stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. So... Either way, I, Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. I still like it. It still came out really cool because it looks like she scavenges. But I think the boots are a little bit small. Although, the boots are small for that armor as well. Yeah, it's super small too. But, yeah, Warlocks, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, that's pretty much it. Guys, let me know what you guys think. Uh, Titans, Warlocks, Hunters, who do you guys think is the best one? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. I might make a a fallen themed armor set for everyone it's just that for the warlock specifically you guys have nothing like at all like the tangled web stuff you definitely have but you guys don't have any exotics with fallen themed ornaments uh you guys don't have anything else that's fallen themed ornament stuff like i could use the tangled web stuff and the and the scatterhorn stuff but it's gonna look like d day and night when you compare it to like the hunter who has the most fallen themed everything because if you guys don't know season of the hunt the ornaments that we got for that season were all enemy themed i could do an enemy theme one but then it goes goes to the problem of like again the warlocks don't have a lot of thorn or not thorn a lot of uh, hive armor sets again this is a big problem with destiny 2 it's just it's really rough to make like stuff like that because again it's hard to make like hive armor when there's no hive armor in the game you can make hive inspired stuff but at that point like you have to really tell your audience like this is hive themed armor or hive themed uh like this is my hive themed guardian and like sometimes you really have to like peak your imagination be like i can see it kind of maybe so let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys would like to see in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. I post a lot on my Instagram. So if you guys are wondering what I'm working on, you can check the Instagram out and you guys will see. But other than that, I will see you guys later.